guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm out here at my mom's property. It's a pretty nice day out. Kind of a little bit nippy, but not too bad. I want to do a review on this firearm I have. It's a uh, Llama Model XIB 1911 uh, clone in 9mm Parabellum. It is empty, no rounds in a mag, and of course it wouldn't have held open if there if there uh, was rounds in the mag. But you get the picture. This particular firearm was made in 1989. Uh, show you the proof marks here. Uh, the first proof mark there is uh, where it was made. I might do a little screenshot of uh, some information on that, on the proof marks in the video after I talk about each one. The second one is, looks like a little bomb with a flame on top. That's where it was proof tested and shot. And the last one there is an I-2, which is a uh, date stamp this one was made in 1989, so it is a 26-year-old firearm. So what we have here is an all-steel construction firearm except for the grips of course and uh, those were custom made by me because these things or this one in particular came with plastic grips and they were uh, notorious for breaking right at the screws and falling apart so and that's actually what happened to this one so I made some G10 grips the uh, fire the extractor is Pinned in with roll pin through that makes it conducive for fire pin breakage so I wouldn't recommend dry firing any of these weapons that are like that which I'm not saying it will break I'm just saying I don't recommend it uh, field strips just like a regular 1911 minus the extractor Uh, the rear sight is for windage only, adjustable. Shoots pretty good. To give a shout out to the real Cobra Burnout. He's having a giveaway. Uh, I won't tell you what he's giving away, so you're gonna have to go to actually go to his channel and check his uh, giveaway video out, see what he's giving away. And I'll put the uh, links to his channel and the uh, giveaway video in the description below. Uh, this has a four and a quarter inch barrel. 
I did polish the feed ramps. The rifling is excellent in this uh, piece. And it shoots pretty good. I was uh, shooting 9mm uh, 147 grain full metal jacket flat points American Eagle, Federal American Eagle which they're not too bad but they're not too great it's not something I would uh, personally buy again they're kind of too heavy for me I do got a couple boxes of ammunition coming I ordered actually bought two boxes of 50 for the price I paid for this one after I paid taxes on this which these were $23.99 That's really about it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.